Hello. Hello. I'm looking for I'm looking answers. For answers. Yesterday I went to IKEA and a few other stores where they're selling dishwashers because I would like to know what is the most important thing I should look for if I'm buying a dishwasher. Not as a kitchen installer, but as a consumer. And the answers I got were not as expected. So in this video I will share with you what I think is the most important things you need to consider when you're buying a dishwasher. So keep watching. It won't take long for me to tell you what the people, the salespeople in the store thought were the most important things to look for when you're buying a dishwasher. Because in all four stores, they opened up the dishwasher and they showed me the interior. They showed me the utensil tray. They showed me how you can take those slide out trays and lift up and down so you can accommodate pots and pans and big plates and all that. And they only talked about what's inside the dishwasher. And that is not what I think we should be focusing on when we are buying a dishwasher. No. I think we should look at something different. And the first thing we need to look at is... Yes, the noise level. And why is that a problem? Well, if you have a small kitchen where you can close the door, it doesn't really matter how loud the dishwasher is when it's running, if you're not in the room. But most modern homes, they open up, they take away the walls, and it's one big room with the kitchen, the dining area, or the family room. So if you have a dishwasher standing in the kitchen running and it's so loud that you can, uh, I wouldn't say you couldn't carry a conversation, but it's so loud that it's truly annoying. Then you want to keep in mind when you're buying a dishwasher to find one that is silent, close to silent. So when you're out shopping for a new dishwasher, it is important that you keep an eye on the uh, noise level and that is the decibel as you can see on these two dishwashers. And one is 47 and one is 59. And then you may think, wow, that's only a difference of 12. And how much more loud can that be? Because when you're driving in your car and you change the speed from 40 to 50, you don't think that's much of an increase, right? But the thing is with the decibel scale that it's nonlinear. And that means that when we increase the noise level from 40 to 50, that is actually a doubling a noise level and we don't want that right so that's really important when you're shopping for a dishwasher that you know that 10 decibel more in the uh, specifications when you're looking at the uh, dishwashers is a doubling in noise so keep that in mind and now to the second most important thing you should be looking for when you're buying a dishwasher in my opinion and that is Yes, you should get a dishwasher that is easy to adjust so it's sitting perfectly in the opening between the cabinets. Ah, uh, now you may think that why is that important because you have someone to install it for you. Well, the problem is that even though you have someone to install it for you, they might not do a good job if the dishwasher is difficult to level when it's sitting in the opening between cabinets. And uh, that is actually the case with most dishwashers. Because as you can see here, if they have legs at the back that they can only be adjusted when the dishwasher is pulled out of the opening where it's sitting, then it's all up to you installer how many times you want to push it in, pull it out, push it in, pull it out to make that perfect installation. And I guarantee you, as I have shown you in a different video on this topic, that most installers, they don't care about that. They just want to push it in, make it look, you know, semi nice and then say that's it. So. How can you avoid this? Well, you can get a dishwasher that can be adjusted totally up and down and tilting and everything when it's sitting in the opening. And that's possible on some dishwashers because they are made so you can adjust the rear legs from the front. So you don't have to pull it out of the opening. No, you can just put it in and then you can adjust every single corner of the dishwasher from the front. And that is much better than one of those old school ones where you have to drag it out of the hole, adjust the legs, put it back in. And um, so look for that when you're buying a dishwasher. I think that is a money well spent. And you can say again, well, it's just a one thing, you know, you put it in and then you adjust it and you might have to pull it in and out a few times. Yes, that's correct. But over time, the dishwasher will move a tiny bit. And isn't it nice that you are able to um, adjust the dishwasher in the height and in the side and in the, in the tilt and the angles and the whatnot. So you can over time adjust it a little bit so it sits with that perfect look, you know, every day going forward. Because 
adjustment might be needed. I don't know if you noticed in the very first picture I showed you from that little galley kitchen that the dishwasher was actually not sitting very well. And that's because most likely that the installer or the owner cannot be bothered to pull it out to adjust it. No, it's sitting there and they have to look at that forever. And you don't want that, no. And it is especially important if you have a dishwasher where you have the front that is integrated uh, with the kitchen because you need to have that lined up otherwise it will really really look bad so don't skip this get a good dishwasher where you can adjust all the legs from the front that's it for now but before i go i think you should take a look at that other video i mentioned before because then you'll see that the dishwasher you have in your house already might not be installed how it should be bye for now see you next time